everybody, Aura here. Hi, Ava's here. And today we're going to be doing a fun experiment. So do you all like flying drones and helicopters? Yeah, we do. So today we're going to make a fun experiment involving that. We're going to make our very own helicopter. For this experiment, we need some paper and we're using cardstock paper. And if you can see, it's a bit thicker than normal paper, but you can experiment with any type of paper you want. And we're just using cardstock paper because we tried with different types of papers and cardstock worked best for us. But you can experiment with different types of papers and see if the results are different. And the other materials we need are a straw, a ruler, a, a scissors, a pencil, and some putty dough. So now we're going to cut this piece of paper in a rectangular shape. Ava, do you know what a rectangle, a rectangle is? Um, it's a shape which the opposite sides are the same. It's a four-sided shape. It's also a quadrilateral. So now we're going to cut out a rectangle of size 2 centimeters by 14 centimeters. As I, and as you can see, now we're just going to use this ruler and, um, and measure 14 centimeters. And first, we're going to mark it because we want to save the cutting part for last. Because the cutting is the best. Wait, so the cutting is the best? That's why we're saving the best for last. This is uh, 14 by 2 centimeters. And now once you marked it, now, um, now once we marked it, now we're going to cut it. Um, if you're visiting our channel for the first time, kindly smash that red subscribe button and turn it gray. And click the bell icon so you don't miss any new notifications. When we upload our videos, as you can see, this is my rectangle and now I need to make a hole in the middle of it. How do you find the middle of the rectangle? Well, you, you have to divide the length by 2. And since the length is 14, we are going to measure the middle at 7 centimeters. Yay, I did it. Which is over here. And now, since yeah. since this is about 3 centimeters, we, um, we're going to draw a line uh, across, which is 1.5 centimeters. The two points jo lines join and that's the center. You can see the center. We're just going to put a point in the middle of it where the two lines are joining. And for this, we're going to use adhesive putty. And these are just like uh, the remaining adhesive putty, which I used from last time. And you can get it at the store. So now we're just going to roll this up into a ball kind of and put it over here. And now... Once you put the paper on the on the adhesive putty, you use a sharp pencil to make a hole in the middle. I can take that. Okay. So now once you made the hole in the middle, take off the adhesive putty and make it a bit bigger for the straw to fit. Make it bigger for the straw to fit. Once your hole is big enough like this, now we're just going to get this straw and and first of all, we are going to cut to this top portion of this, which is the flexible portion. As you can see, we're just going to cut it since we done this. And we're going to cut at the bottom of it along the line part. You can see the first thing. Now we made this cut at the bottom, and now we are gonna put the straw through the hole, and um, you, and you're gonna put it through the hole wherever you made the cut. So if you made it at the bottom, you're just gonna put it through this way. 
Hello. And now we're gonna tape this uh, end of the straw uh, to the paper to make sure that the paper doesn't throw, like go off the straw. So you can see how the two ends are spread out. You can see. And now we're gonna use cello tape to tape them to the paper, um, um, so the paper doesn't uh, go off the straw. Now we made the helicopter's rotor blades, and it's almost finished, but not yet. Now we have to bend the two halves so it will go up. But make sure not to bend it too much because um, you only need to bend it slightly. So gently twist clockwise with each hand. So if you don't bend the rotor blade, then the helicopter won't take off. How does the helicopter fly when we spin it? Look at the blades for a minute. You can see how they're angled. And when we spin the angled blades, it pushes the air downward, which generates a field of high pressure air below it and low pressure air above it. The high pressure air pushes the blades upward, which generates lift. The straw keeps the helicopter upright. Stabilize the helicopter when it flies. The blades of this are angled like the drone. So now we're gonna do, do a real world example. And this is a Sky Viper S1700 stunt drone. And you can see how the blades on it look a lot like the blades on the helicopter, which we made. So the drone has a battery, you can see over here. And when we, and when we connect this, then uh, there's an electric motor over here. The motor you propels the rotor blade, keeping the drone spinning and keeping the drone generating lift and keeps the drone going up because there's going to be a high pressure area below the drone and low pressure above it. This is an easy experiment you can try at home. Please subscribe to our channel and bye friends! Bye friends!